Hi everybody, it's Sid from Super Sid Japan. On today's episode, I'm going to give you a tour of my apartment where I stay when I come to Japan. This is the place where I used to live when I was living full time here in Tokyo, and I want to show you how great a bargain you can really get if you just look for it. Now this apartment was definitely a massive find, like the amount that I pay for this place compared to the size of it is just incredible. This place is around Hachimanen per month, which is around about $900 Australian per month. And it is 46 square feet of space, which is about double the size of a standard Japanese apartment. And on top of that, uh, while its location is not the best, the facilities in this place are just awesome. So come on, let's have a look. All right, so welcome to my lovely apartment. And here is the entranceway. So as you can see, standard Japanese entranceway, you have a small step area and a place where you can take off your shoes and change to your slippers. And on the right, I actually have a nice large shoe cupboard, which is excellent when you want to put away all your spare shoes. Um, as you can see, it's relatively big, but um, when you've got two people, believe me, it gets filled up really, really quickly. Um, as you can see back here, uh, my door has a uh, main lock and the guard plus the little uh, lens to look through the front door. Then you walk into the kitchen slash dining area. So as you can see this is a pretty big room. Um, got my beautiful uh, folding table and chairs here which I bought online from the Rakuten store. Um, this table actually, this extra part here actually folds down and this little seat here sits in underneath. So this is, I think, around like San Man and the time I got it for a pretty good discount. Um, here I've got standard Japanese kitchen. I have a two burner gas stove uh, with the little fish oven. I love Japanese fish ovens like so much. Um, as you can see, it is quite small, but what you do is you put water in the bottom here and close it, turn on the heat let it get nice and steamy then lay your piece of fish on here and what happens is it grills from above while getting all steamed in that so the fish always comes up like really nice and juicy um, i've also used it for like finishing off parmesanas and just for like toasting things in general um japanese sink i also love these uh they have these massive big sink holes here which you can see uh it has a little cover and then inside it's got um, it has like a little bucket, but I've put netting over it. So when I peel like veggies and stuff like that, I just shove it down the hole. And uh, when I finished, I just grab the netting and pull it out and put it in the bin. Um, to the little washing area. Now, a lot of the equipment you can see in my apartment, I got for really cheap. Um, I got these off what's called a sayonara sale. You can find them all over Craigslist and it's basically people who've been living in Japan and are leaving and they need to get rid of their furniture, which uh, you may not know, but in Japan, if you need to get rid of large items in Japan, is really, 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 really expensive to get it taken away, like nearly a hundred dollars per item. So a lot of people just try to get rid of their stuff. So actually I got my fridge for free, like 100% free. Um, the microwave was 500 yen. Um, over here I bought my shelves. The shelves I bought from um, the homemaker center, but um, my rice cooker was only 500 yen and same for my little kettle here. Um, as you can see, it's where I keep my utilities. Now down here is actually where I organize rubbish. So I've got cardboard goods. Um, I use this bag for putting like pet bottles and that in. And this is obviously for standard rubbish. Um, also uh, separate it for like cans and glass. Now each of these rubbish gets taken out on a different day and you must separate them. Um, thankfully when you move into 
your district like usually give you like a big guide like this which helps you like separate all your items uh, so that you know which days that they go out and how to actually like put them out which makes my life a lot easier since you know Baka Gaijin who doesn't know how to do anything in Japan it was really 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 helpful um, here have uh, my little praying center for Buddhism and down here this is where I've got the internet connected and that so again little shelf got from the homemaker center um, in here is pretty awesome like this apartment was so amazing because of the fact that this bathroom is all separate so uh, as you can see here you got this little door um, at the top there's actually a little uh, see there's a little clip panel and when I turn the light on in the toilet it actually comes on as well so it lets you know that someone's in the toilet now I love Japanese toilets because look at this 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 toilet is just so awesome so as you can see it has all these buttons um, this button here is for washing your bottom and this one is for washing your lady parts uh, this makes the streams weaker this makes it stronger um, and this here actually stops the flow of water um, over here you have settings for changing the temperature of the water uh, here is for actually changing uh, to turn on the heating for the seat so in the winter time you can actually set the heat on and you can even actually set it so that it automatically turns on at certain times of day um, and probably one of my favorite things and I wish I had this in Australia since we have such massive water shortages when you actually flush the toilet here which you can see uh, this means a big flush and this is a little flush so let's use a little flush and um, when it flushes it actually has like all the water like coming out here to refill the system so you can wash your hands here when you've like done your business in the bathroom which I think is amazing um, after that I've got pretty standard little Japanese setup for my uh, washing place so I just put all my my hair care products at the top. Um, Joe's got all his uh, beard stuff and that here. Um, it usually has one of these little cupboards where you can put like toothbrush and that, but we both use electric toothbrushes so we just use it as an extra little storage area. Um, it also has little PowerPoint. Japanese <laughs> PowerPoints are so tiny, like they have such these tiny little plugs. So it means that everything's a little bit more compact in Japan, which I think is awesome. Um, over here, uh, this is actually the cover to my bathtub. Um, I only use that when I filled up the bath with hot water and I finished having my bath and I know that Joe will use the bath as well so I just put the cover on to keep the heat in. Um, this connection at the bottom is actually for a washing machine. Uh, we don't actually own a washing machine, we just use the clean laundry at the moment. We might get a washing machine in the future but for now we're not sure if we're going to stay in this place uh, just because it's a little bit far from Joe's work. Uh, over here is this big cabinet. I actually bought this also from the Homemaker Center. I think it was about Ichimanen, which is pretty reasonable. Uh, my little vacuum cleaner, which I love because also when you turn it on, it has like this little light that shines through the ground so you can see all the dust and hair and stuff because I'm a little bit crazy about dust and dirt. And then this, my beautiful, great big shower room. I love this so much. So as you can see, like most Japanese bathrooms, it has a little mirror, place you can put all your toiletries. Um, I bought a stool because I really like being able to sit down and take a shower. Um, so this whole room is waterproof. So uh, this drain is actually just under here. You can take off this panel to uh, really clean it under there and lift up this little cover here and underneath is where actually all the water drains um, in there I've also got like a little net covering to stop all like the hair and stuff going down the drain stop it from getting clogged over here you've got the standard uh, connection for Japanese showers so this here in the middle you flip it from side to side for whether you want the water to come out of the shower head or whether you want it to come out of the bathtub obviously hot and cold water um, Cool thing is this is actually gas run, so it means you never run out of hot water, which uh, 
I may be one of those bad people who likes to take like 15 minute showers. Um, the whole room is waterproof so you have to actually clean this roof as well. Um, uh, this room takes me quite a long time to clean it when I do clean it uh, because everything needs to be scrubbed down but uh, as long as you keep an eye on it, it generally stays really nice and clean. Um, right, so, oh, cool thing as well is when you turn on the fans, the little light comes on, so you actually know if the fan's running or not. All right, back out this way, and we'll go into what is the lounge room. So as you can see here, I've got my big couch, and TV cabinet and that um, and I also got my mirror with my studio lights set up um, I have this mirror with my lights on it because when I'm filming myself which as you know I'm usually sitting here on this couch um, I can't actually see my screen because I use my phone for filming so what I do is I sit here in front of this mirror so that I can actually see what's on my screen when I'm doing some filming um, the rest of this room is actually really big um, as you can see, I've got all my stuff here from coming over from Australia, so I haven't really put that away properly yet, but it's fine, it can just sit there for now. Um, when I first moved in to this apartment, uh, we were really, really, really poor, so actually I bought this fold-up table and chairs. Um, I think they were about, I think it was uh, $20 all up for the table and the chairs, which they lasted for a really, really long time. Um, in here have just like a mattress on the floor uh, because we've thought about like buying like a proper uh, holder for the bed for the mattress but uh, at this point in time like where our apartment is it's really hard to like get upstairs and bringing furniture up here is not very fun at all actually this couch only just fit in the tiny little elevator we have like seriously that elevator can barely fit two people let alone having like furniture and stuff in there um another thing that i did when i moved in was this is what they call a futon cupboard so as you can see uh, this is a spare futon that had down the bottom and in this cupboard they actually don't have any hanging space so what i did was i went to the homemaker center um, and as you can see up here, I bought this like extending rod and this sort of uh, support beam here. And that meant that now my cupboard has like a proper like hanging area. Um, another cool thing that this apartment has that a lot of Japanese apartments do not have is a proper balcony. So it's not just like a little tiny balcony that you can only just hang clothes out on. This is actually like a proper full size one. As you can see, it's quite wide. I've just got like my little hangers out here at the moment. And yeah, so as you can see, um, this uh, balcony is actually quite big. Um, I really need to get out of here and scroll this because it's been raining a lot. So lots of dirt and dust have kind of built up down here. But um, in the summer, which it is right now, it's really great because I've got these uh, great big windows that I can kind of open and it keeps the house relatively cool. I don't really have to run the air conditioning. All right, I hope that that answered a lot of your questions about Japanese apartments and how much you can really get if you hunt around. Uh, in future videos, I'm going to be doing one about how to separate your trash properly, which is really really tricky like people are like oh trash it's not that hard it's like no japan has come to a whole different level when it comes to organizing your trash and also i'll show you some more features about how to say use a small kitchen in japan to make a really really delicious healthy meal if you have any further questions or ideas that you'd like me to make into videos in the future please comment below and like and subscribe to get updates on future content thanks everybody and have a great time